Hello everybody, Ms. Collier here with another phonics lesson. So today we're going to start with our revisit and review like we always do. This time it's a little bit different. We're going to be reviewing our phase 5A sounds, okay? So say them out loud as you see them in the video. Great job everyone. Now we're going to jump straight into our learning for today which is an alternative pronunciation of the EA grapheme. Alright, so we're looking at two different sounds, different ways of saying the EA grapheme when we see it. Now one of them you should definitely know, one of them you've probably heard but weren't 100% sure of. Okay, so we're going to start with our EA grapheme and the sound we're looking at first is the E sound. Now my favorite rhyme when it comes to this is when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So because the E is first in this grapheme, we say its name, we say E. Alright, so let's have a look at the pictures we've got. We have got a lovely necklace of beads, but e -d -s, beads. We have got a nice juicy peach, p e -ch, peach. We've got a wonderful picture of a seaside, s e s i d. Okay, there's a split digraph in there. And finally, in the corner, I am sitting there and I am reading, r e d ing. So that is one way of saying our EA grapheme. The other way is a much shorter sound. So instead of being a long E sound, it's a short E sound. So let's have a look at these pictures and see what we can see. Okay, so remember we're looking at the EA as an E sound. And in the top left corner, uh, we have got a, a loaf of bread. B -r -e -d, bread. And next to it in the right, top right corner, we have got someone's breakfast. B -r -e -k -f -a -st, breakfast. Okay, and then just below where we've got our loaf of bread, we have got some feathers. F -e -th -ers. And finally, the I am there, and instead of reading, I have read. R -e -d, read. Which you'll find really interesting because it's spelt exactly the same way, which means it is a homophone. Okay, so read and read are exactly the same, but they are said differently, so they are a homophone. And now it's activity time, and this time we're going to go back to sorting the words. Um, so we're going to have two groups, we're going to get a piece of paper, split it into two, and we're going to have one side as the EA grapheme making an E sound, and the EA grapheme making an E sound. Alright, you've done this before, I know you can do it. If you need to, pause the video so you can see the words, sort them, and then I would like you to use these words, I'd say four to six of them, three of each type in some sentences and can you extend those sentences, conjunctions, can you make some expanded noun phrases with some adjectives, I cannot wait to see what you can come up with. And that brings us to the end of another phonics lesson, well done everybody, I look forward to seeing your work. And until next time, see you later.